Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of the NOOC titled Inverted Methodologies. This video lecture is focused on the models, instructional design methodologies and strategies for the implementation of a flipped classroom. During this lecture, the main features of the conventional flipped classroom model will be discussed. You will also be introduced to the instructional design methodology ADI and its application in the process of designing flipped classrooms. The last part is focused on the most efficient strategies for flipped classroom implementation. Upon completion of this training module, participants are expected to acquire knowledge and understanding of the main features of the conventional flipped classroom model, knowledge and understanding of the ADI instructional design methodology and the ability to apply it to the design process of your own flipped classrooms. Knowledge and understanding of different strategies and approaches for implementing a flipped classroom and the ability to identify their advantages and challenges considering the specifics of the particular setting. Knowledge and skills to identify relevant topics and develop learning techniques applicable to various flipped classrooms. The flipped classroom instructional model is a fundamentally different from the conventional educational model where the instructor has a central role and is the lesson's leader and principal information disseminator during the class session. Flipping the classroom shifts the direct instruction from the group space, face-to-face -face session in class, to the individual learning space of the students, out of class. As a result, students take more responsibility and can apply personalized and learner-centered settings in reaching the basic knowledge before the class. In class, the students explore deeper knowledge dimensions, apply concepts, engage creatively in the subject matter and improve their procedural fluency guided and supported by the educator. Developing an effective flipped classroom instructional model requires careful consideration and design of all learning activities that will take place before, during and after the classroom. Pre-class activities are carried out before class time and aim to familiarize the students with some basic concepts and terminology and to facilitate their understanding and remembering. The inclusion of some pre-class assessment activities for evaluation of the understanding level is an important component. The content could be delivered to students in different formats, video lectures, textual materials, podcasts, presentations, interactive pictures, readings, quizzes, etc. In-class activities are carried out during class time and aim to delve deeper into more intricate concepts and examine them, creatively applying knowledge and procedural skills to solve problems. These activities encompass a broad range of active learning methods, offering opportunities for more personalized interactions between the instructor and students, as well as between students themselves, including group work, group discussions, debates, peer discussions, peer instruction, and diagnostic assessments. After the classroom session, post-class activities are designed to promote students' reflection and facilitate a more profound understanding of the content through follow-up discussions, practical applications of key concepts in authentic situations, and formative and summative assessments. These activities also provide feedback on performance and impact whether in person or online. Analysis, design, development, implementation and evaluation are the components that make up the ADI acronym. ADI is one of the broadly used instructional design methods which effectively could be applied to designing flipped classrooms. Analysis is the first phase of the 
flipping process, which includes examining the learning outcomes and curriculum to determine whether flipped learning is appropriate. This phrase also entails analyzing the target audience, limitations regarding the equipment and environment, and possibilities for instruction delivery, as well as pedagogical considerations such as the granularity of the content and the feasibility of employing student-centered strategies and approaches to achieve higher interactivity, personalization, and student engagement. Remember, the learning objectives could be re-evaluated, but they shouldn't alter regardless of the delivery style. The design phase focuses on developing a learning strategy that considers learning objectives and expected outcomes. This phase includes defining the logical structure and operational procedures, defining or selecting assessment tools and procedures, designing the user interface, and specifying the audiovisual design and delivery methods. Within the development phase, the intentional flipped learning content and educational resources are selected, adapted, and or developed according to the defined strategy and design principles in parallel with the construction and or adjustment of the flipped classroom infrastructure and communication system. In addition, evaluation instruments for measuring the students' achievements as well as the effectiveness of the selected flipped classroom strategy should be developed. Regular communication between the teacher and students about academic and extracurricular expectations is essential. All developed components should be internally tested for suitability and technical performance. During the implementation phase, the flipped learning is delivered to students according to the developed model and strategy. All learning activities designed and tested in the previous phase are now carried out. It is key for the instructor to make clear to students what course objectives will be addressed at each new stage of learning, what information is required before and in the class, and what assessments will take place and when. Instructors should continuously monitor the situation and provide clear and detailed instructions to students Explain to, explaining to them what to do and where and how to get support. The main phase of the evaluation phase is to assess the educational achievements of the students regarding the learning goals and to collect feedback from all participants in the flipped classroom to identify the aspects for further improvement. The flipped approach proposes that students should ideally be evaluated during the whole session by means of regular low-stakes quizzes or student polling, as well as via their involvement in class discussions. The instructor should provide students with feedback regarding each formative assessment. After the completion of the flipped learning session comes the time for the summative evaluation. This entails evaluating not just the student's academic process, but also their whole experience as students. Concerning the student's experiences, a survey had to be made. When taken together, the summative assessment and the survey will apply the instructor with the necessary data to rethink and modify some aspects aiming for further improvement. Please review the provided interactive open educational resource, Instructional Design Methodology ADI for Flipping a Classroom, to check your level of understanding of the topic. The macro level represented by the ADI methodology could be concretized in the following practical steps. Identify and define key concepts, clear learning outcomes, and success criteria. Plan the implementation strategy. Develop pre-class learning activities related to recall and comprehension, as well as checkpoints for interactivity and feedback. Develop in-class activities 
related to the apply and analyze levels and link them to pre-class activities with a focus on student motivation and building accountability. Deliver your related flipped class and related activities and review the learning outcomes. Make explicit connections between the topic and post-class activities and assessments. Evaluate the flipped classroom by monitoring the level of student achievement and participation. Collect feedback to make appropriate changes if needed. How instructors plan to utilize the time available in the classroom distinguishes one version of the flipped classroom approach from another. There are various strategies for implementing the flipped classroom and some of the most popular will be discussed. In the conventional flipped classroom before class, students review course materials such as online video lectures and other resources to gain the basic knowledge needed for the next class session in advance. The method allows teachers to spend less time teaching basic facts and more time improving their students' understanding of the material. Students use class time to improve their understanding by putting their knowledge into practice and by interacting with the instructor and their peers. The group-based flipped classroom is similar to the conventional approach but emphasizes collaborative work. Students are grouped upon arrival and engage in joint activities to enhance their understanding of the subject. This approach encourages peer teaching and explanation and challenges students to learn from each other. Some educators may even include teamwork components in the home learning stage to further emphasize group work. In a flipped classroom focused to debate, students first learn the material at home and then participate in a debate or series of debates with their peers during class. Research shows that debating can increase student engagement and improve learning outcomes as well as reveal diverse perspectives and complexities of a topic strengthening understanding. The discussion-based approach in a flipped classroom involves students watching educational videos at home and then participating in in-depth open discussions on the topic during class. This approach allows students to explore different aspects, gain access to diverse perspectives, and expand their understanding of the subject. This method is particularly effective in humanities-related disciplines where contextual factors play a crucial role. Access to technology is a major criticism of the flipped classroom model, particularly for learners who lack regular or equal access at home. One solution to this issue is the flipped classroom in-class strategy, where students use school computers for before-class learning. The basic flipped learning approach remains the same, but with the added benefit of providing access to technology during class time. Teachers may set aside time at the beginning of the class or students could complete pre-class learning on school computers during their own time. The virtual flipped classroom is based on the same principle as the conventional flipped classroom where students learn from online resources before attending class. However, the key difference is that the in-class activities also take place online in a virtual setting. This allows the model to be implemented in situations where physical attendance is not possible. Individual consultations may also be combined with this approach. They should be scheduled regularly or at predetermined in intervals to enable teachers to monitor student progress. The double flipped classroom, also known as the flipped teacher approach, involves assigning students to create videos to demonstrate their understanding on the subject matter. This approach strengthens students' knowledge and helps them develop technology skills while providing an academic learning experience. This can be particularly useful for students interested in an academic career. In addition, the collective 
collection of video content created by students can be used in subsequent lessons and other courses. Thank you for your attention.